Blood at the Root, A Racial Cleansing in America, by Patrick Phillips is a powerful and harrowing exploration of a little-known episode in American history. The book delves into the racial cleansing that took place in Forsyth County, Georgia, in the early 20th century, exposing the deeply ingrained racism and the enduring consequences of this dark chapter. Phillips skillfully weaves together historical research, personal narratives, and vivid storytelling to paint a vivid and disturbing picture of the events in Forsyth County. His meticulous research and empathetic storytelling make the book a compelling read that sheds light on a troubling and often overlooked aspect of American history. The central narrative of Blood at the Root revolves around the events of 1912 when a young white woman, May Crow, was found murdered near Forsyth County. This incident served as a pretext for a wave of racial violence and intimidation that ultimately led to the forced expulsion of all black residents from the county. Phillips takes readers on a journey through the escalating tensions, mob violence, and the subsequent displacement of the African American community. Through the stories of individuals and families affected by this purge, the author conveys the immense human cost of racial hatred and prejudice. One of the book's most compelling features is its focus on the individuals who lived through these horrifying events. Phillips skillfully humanizes the victims and the perpetrators, providing readers with a nuanced understanding of the motivations, fears, and prejudices that fueled the racial cleansing. The author's empathetic portrayal of the African-American families who were driven from their homes highlights their resilience and the profound injustices they endured. At the same time, he delves into the motivations of the white supremacists who were responsible for this racial violence, offering insights into the toxic combination of ignorance, fear, and hatred that fueled their actions. Blood at the Root also shines a light on the broader historical and social context in which these events unfolded. Phillips skillfully traces the history of Forsyth County, exploring its legacy of white supremacy and the cultural attitudes that led to the expulsion of its black population. He demonstrates how Forsyth County was not unique but emblematic of the racial violence and discrimination that were pervasive throughout the United States during that era. By doing so, the book becomes a poignant reminder of the systemic racism deeply rooted in the nation's history. One of the book's most compelling themes is the enduring impact of these events on the descendants of those who were forcibly removed from Forsyth County. Phillips meticulously follows the lives of these families as they scattered across the United States, building new lives while grappling with the trauma of displacement. He reveals how the racial cleansing left a long-lasting scar on the collective memory of Forsyth County and the descendants of those who were driven out. This ongoing trauma is a reminder that the consequences of such racial violence extend far beyond the immediate victims, affecting generations to come. The prose in Blood at the Root is both elegant and evocative, making the book not only informative but emotionally resonant. Phillips has a gift for storytelling, and his narrative prowess keeps the reader engaged throughout. The author's ability to infuse historical events with emotional depth and personal narratives makes the book accessible to a wide range of readers, from those with a deep interest in history to those looking to gain a better understanding of the enduring legacy of racial violence. In conclusion, Blood at the Root, A Racial Cleansing in America, is a haunting and eye-opening work that sheds light on a forgotten chapter in American history. Patrick Phillips combines rigorous research with compassionate storytelling to provide a comprehensive account of the racial cleansing in Forsyth County. This book is a testament to the importance of confronting and acknowledging the darkest aspects of our history to promote healing and justice. It is a must-read for anyone interested in understanding the complex and enduring impact of racial violence in the United States.